Good Friday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast on this uh, December 16th. Another cold morning with temperatures starting out in the teens once again all over south central Kentucky. Actually, we're seeing a few places running a few degrees warmer than yesterday, and that's thanks to cloud cover, which covers the entire area. We'll be pretty much cloudy all day today. Any kind of precipitation, mostly rain, will be moving in late tonight and then all day tomorrow. And then that's when things get a little crazy after that. 29 was the official high temperature yesterday in Bowling Green, but that happened early yesterday morning, and that was 19 degrees below the average high of 48. And then our low was 17. So far, it's been 17. Uh, And 29 is where we should be for an average. That's a 12-degree difference. One year ago, we had a high of 64 and a low of 39 back in 2015. We're now almost an inch behind for uh, the month of December on precipitation, and we're now at four inches behind on year-to-date precipitation. Today, just cloudy, breezy, warmer. Now, you're not going to feel the warmer air until later today, probably after, you know, midday, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. It'll start to feel a bit warmer. The winds will pick up from the south and become breezy. We'll say a high of 44, and then the temperatures will hold steady for the rest of the evening and start to rise as we get into, say, 10, 11 o'clock tonight as the rain begins to move in. Cloudy with rain moving in late, 60% chance, and it would be all rain for us. Now, along and north of Interstate, say, 64, up around the Evansville, Owensboro area, over toward Louisville. Uh, Some of the precipitation there may start as a mix with a little bit of sleet or freezing rain, and then it would just go over to all rain as the temperatures rise. But we are expecting temperatures to rise during the overnight hours. And then on Saturday, it is just going to be a windy, rainy, sometimes stormy day. 70% chance of rain and even a few thunderstorms. We're not expecting severe weather, but the winds will be from the southwest at 20 to 30 miles per hour. And we're still calling for a high of 68. Wouldn't be surprised if some hit 70 tomorrow. Crazy. And then, even crazier, by... Saturday evening, say sometime after 7, 8 o'clock, we're going to find the temperatures crashing pretty rapidly. So we go from near 70 down to 24 Saturday night and a changeover of any leftover precipitation from rain to a period of freezing rain and sleet and then over to some light snow. But no accumulation is expected. Uh, I think the greatest impact from this would be Saturday night, Sunday morning with temperatures below freezing. We will see ice on the roadways, not on power lines. It's not going to be an ice storm situation. We're talking about just icy roads in some cases. So travel could be a little tricky if you're out late Saturday night or even like going to church on Sunday morning. Sunday's high is only going to be around 30. And we're going to see maybe some snow flurries, early morning snow showers, and then just partly cloudy the rest of the day, down to 14 on Sunday night. Brisk northwest breeze will make it feel even colder. Monday, as we get ready for Christmas week, sunny and only 31. Tuesday, sunny and 43. We do see a warm-up coming. Winter officially begins on Wednesday We'll see uh, increasing clouds and a high near 50 with rain coming in Wednesday night into Thursday. Showers on Thursday and a high of 51. Right now, looking ahead to Christmas weekend, Saturday and Sunday both look wet, not snowy, with temperatures in the 50s. So no white Christmas around here. Uh, This year, for us, you'll have to go north for that. 
All right, uh, we'll be here all weekend long just kind of monitoring things. If it does get a little dicey and icy and uh, we have some issues with roads and, you know, things like that, we'll be around to monitor things and update social media and the uh, WBKO app and WBKO.com as always. So just keep it right here. We'll uh, chime in and let you know. If you don't hear from me, like I said yesterday, if you don't see me post something special, a special uh, maybe Facebook Live or something special like that, then you know everything is going to be fine. It's just going to be a little crazy uh, topsy-turvy weekend. But you know, when it starts to get uh, you know dangerous or anything like that, then we'll hop on and we'll update you guys as it becomes necessary. In the meantime, know the weather before it knows you. Have a great weekend. And God bless. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky, 11 a.m. on midday. Streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com. And later today, if you get a chance, join me for my radio show at Classic Hits, Sam 100.7, between 3 and 7 p.m.